There's something on the table there. Oh! Hello? Whoa! Okay, thank you. Konnichiwa, Minsan Kazudes. Welcome to the hospital. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's check this out. Hachimimosho. Hello? When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly. My condition grew worse day by day. I checked in this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. Hello? I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to in intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. I'm feeling weak, so weak, I think I'll sleep now, can barely breathe. What the hell? Hello? I'm up? How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting off bed. Um, okay. My bed, it looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off? It. Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Oh, okay, I think I think you passed away, dude. <laughs> Cheers for visitors, except for being in quarantine, I had no visitors. Let's just leave the room, I guess. Oh my god! <laughs> that person out there. Maybe a doctor? I need to find out what's going on. That's not a doctor, dude. That's not a doctor. Went this way. Hello? Where's everybody? When I checked in here, these quarters were full of activity all day and night. Filled with nurses and doctors and patients. They're all gone, dude. You're not, you're not where you think you are, man. Where am I going? Should I go this way? Hello? Don't worry. Sealed, just like the others. This one, maybe? No luck. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Hello? Oh my god, please stop doing that. That is not a doctor. That is not a doctor. Hello? Hey. Hey. Oh, it's open. She opened it for us. Hello? Alright. Hello? Hello? We're fine. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. Damn it. Tell me what's going on. Hello? What? Someone's on the other side of this door? No, of course not. Hello? Uh-oh, what is this? This room looks just like the one I was in, but it's a mess. What the hell, man? What happened here? Did you soil yourself? How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't clean after the last patient departed. Oh! Oh! What? That figure. Uh-oh. 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 The same came from out there. Did I hide? Hello? That figure I saw on the TV. It reminded me of... 
No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. Uh-oh. 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 Hello? We're fine. We're fine. Hello? Hello? Yellow? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Why? These sudden pauses, man, is what gets me. I, can't, I lose control for like a second. They're like, what is going on, right? Okay, where'd he go? Hello? This door's open. Uh oh. What is this? Oh my god! Now this one's open. Yellow? Is someone is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. Oh. <laughs> Alright. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Who is this you're talking about? Can you tell us the name already? What? Is someone you know? Who is this? What? Oh, what's going on? Um. What the hell is this? What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live, except everything looks so abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Oh! Hello? Whoa! Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. This isn't real. I'm dreaming. No, you're dead, dude. Nia, is that you? Are you sure your face? That familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that has haunted me since. Could I have saved her life had I done things differently? And at what cost? I couldn't have saved you, Nia. I'm sorry for what happened, Nia. Only cold silence. What does she want? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, thank you for that. Nia? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? I can't see anything behind me. I think that's a good thing. Oh my god. What is that sound? This is a photo of her, huh, isn't it? Nia. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach just, af just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, and obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I entered our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me. Her dark eyes empty and unreadable. Her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand... Uh oh. Okay, is that it? Can this, I'm, I'm just gonna get out of here. I can't see anything beyond this room. Hello? Oh my god. What is this? What is this place? What happened here? Just keep going forward, right? There's nothing to it. What's the worst you can do? Is there someone there? Hello? Oh my god. There's a dead body there. Hello? Hello? 
corpse? Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is terrible. I should move on. Hello? Wait, it's locked. Right? Doesn't budge. Hello? Oh my god. What's gonna happen? Hello? Can you start moving? Can I open one of these doors? No? <laughs> oh my god, you asshole. Okay. Oh my god, what is this? Alright, let's keep walking forward, right? That door seems open. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Okay. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. And a week later, I got that terrible call. Oh my god. Oh my god, why is it so dark down here? What? Is this the mental hospital? She wasn't here, right? Okay. Whoa! Oh no! Oh my god. Yeah, oh god. Why did you do it? Why do you have to go like this? They told me what you wrote on the note, your last words. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Oh my god. Wait, everything's so dark. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. Alright. Oh my god. Please do not run at me. Please do not run at me. Hello? Nia? What do you want from me? I think of that note you left, the last word you ever wrote. Oh my gosh, you got closer, huh? Yep. Alright. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? And if I've done things differently, perhaps be more compassionate, you might still be alive? Back in my room? How did I get here? Nia. Yeah. Um. Um. Okay, should we just leave? Maybe? Just trying to get out of the door? Do I dare go out there? What would I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma? Trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream? Born of guilt? Or am I dead? And this is my afterlife. Those dread halls and the torment is so stalking me for all eternity. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, and that was the hospital. Yes, that was really, really interesting. Oh my god, I like that. Wow, yeah, the scares actually. What's the sense of creepy? The sense of dread? Like, what is going on? I couldn't understand what was the, what was happening, right? Was he dead or was he having a dream like he was in a coma or whatever, right? Yeah, that was interesting. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Matane.